Hey everyone, this is JD Ray and today I'm coming at you guys with a full coverage foundation routine that so happens to be photo friendly. So if you're interested, be sure to stay tuned and thank you for watching. So let's go ahead and let's get started. The first thing I'm going to apply is moisturizer and I'm using the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is my favorite moisturizer ever. I absolutely love this hands down. Apply! <laughs> so now I'm going to move on to primer and I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer in the shade 001. It's not really a shade but it's the version of it I guess you can say. One pump is more than enough as you guys can see here. It will be enough for your entire face. Now a primer is very important when doing a full coverage foundation routine because sometimes full coverage foundations can look a little bit cakey and using a primer just helps smooth out your face and just makes it apply much better and not as cakey and it just makes it more blendable and all that good stuff so I just applied it like I would a moisturizer and then I just patted it in to make sure that it filled in those pores that I have. The next step is concealer because these bags are a total no-go so let's go ahead and let's get rid of them. I'm using the Shiseido Natural Finish Cream Concealer in the shade 3. And I'm just going to be applying this under my eyes with my ring finger and just blending that out into my cheekbone. This concealer is very pigmented so very little is needed to cover any darkness that might be under your eyes. I absolutely love the Kim Kardashian highlighting under the eye look so that's what I am doing in this tutorial I absolutely love it I think it looks very nice and it just makes my pop my pop it just makes my cheekbones pop very nicely so there I am doing one eye and then obviously I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye look at the difference I then take that same concealer and apply it around my nose where pretty much everyone has at least a little bit of redness just to reduce that. And then I take what's left and I put it on my forehead to also highlight that area. The darkness under my eyes is now a thing of the past. The next step is foundation and I was actually debating between using the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Foundation or the Whipped Foundation but the Whipped Foundation photographs much better so I decided to go for that foundation as you guys can see right here. So I just grab some with my ring finger that much and I pretty much just apply that on the outer perimeter of my face wherever I haven't applied any concealer. Let's not forget our neck, right? So I take my two hands and I pretty much just rub them together to create heat which just helps the product blend better and it just helps avoid any cakiness on your skin which is a total no-no. Voila! <laughs> now we're going to set the foundation and right here I'm using my Everyday Minerals foundation in olive medium to set the outer perimeter of my face. I absolutely love this foundation. It has a gorgeous golden olive undertone which just matches me very nicely because a lot of foundations just don't match my undertone so I'm just gonna apply that with a kabuki brush as you guys can see right here and I'm going to blend 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 take some more and put some on my forehead The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my concealer and I'm using my Everyday Minerals foundation in Golden Medium which is a shade lighter than my natural skin tone. But I just find that this makes the highlighted areas pop out even more so that's why I do it like this. This is completely optional of course.
Now we're going to do our bronzer slash contour and for this I'm also using a Everyday Minerals foundation. Um, this one's in the shade Bronze Tan so it's a lot darker than my actual skin tone. So I'm just going to take that and apply it in the hollows of my cheeks very lightly. Now I'm doing the other side. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Okay, now I'm going to take that same bronzer and I'm going to apply it on my temples. Now I'm going to add a pop of color to my cheeks with some blush. I couldn't decide which blush to go with, but I ended up going with Nature's Sweet Side by Everyday Minerals, which is a beautiful berry mauve shade that just complements my skin tone very nicely. So I'm just going to apply this to the actual cheekbone and I do this in very light layers because I'd rather build blush than have to remove it because I overdid it. So just take it easy with the blush. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and blend that like no other. Next up is highlighter. I'm using Max Vanilla Pigment to highlight my cheekbones, my nose, and a little bit of my forehead anywhere where light naturally hits your face. Now you want to be careful that you don't overdo the highlighter because then you'll just look really oily and greasy and just like a fried disco ball so let's not do that. Okay is it weird that I actually smelled the powder to see if it smelled like vanilla? Ah, uh, No? Okay good. As you guys can see, this highlighter just adds a really nice, healthy glow back to the skin that the powder may have taken away. Now I'm going to go ahead and fix those eyebrows that are just crazy right now. I use MAC mystery eyeshadow and a bit of Lancome's it list eyeshadow I mix the two just because the mystery is still a bit too light for me and the it list is too dark so I just mix the two um, I take one swipe of the it list from Lancome and two swipes of the mystery eyeshadow from Mac to just get my custom color which works amazingly for me Would you guys just look at the difference? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just redo the whole step but with my other eyebrow. And this is actually my thinner eyebrow so I usually take longer on this specific eyebrow because I actually got like a pimple on it a few days ago and the eyebrows just like fell off because of the pimple which really pissed me off but whatever they'll grow back I hope so now I'm actually going to take my concealer and apply that under my eyebrow to just highlight the area and just define my eyebrows even more
Okay, I don't know about you guys, but my eyebrows are cray cray, so I have to tame those beasts. I use the MAC Brow Gel, which is clear, and I just run that over my eyebrows to keep them in check because they seem to have a mind of their own and they just want to go everywhere and that just doesn't work around here. Okay, so we're done. Wait, I forgot to put on chapstick. Here I'm using my Burt's Bees Rejuvenating Lip Balm with a K-Berry to moisturize my lips so that they don't look all dry and wrinkly and just not cute at all. So I'm actually going to take my Burt's Bees Hibiscus Tinted Lip Balm and I'm going to top that off. It's very sheer, it's nothing too dramatic, just to give my lips a bit of color. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We're done. This is my full coverage foundation routine. I hope you guys liked it. So this is it, guys. Bye. I'll see you guys next time in my next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget, stay flawless.